Please rise, salute, and show your appreciation for the one and only Mr. Noel Clark. This was Noel Clark receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award from the British Urban Film Festival in 2019. Just hours after The Guardian last week published allegations of abuse against the actor, he was stripped of the accolade by its founder. Our association with Noel um, started and ended when we gave him the honorary award. So when, when I was aware of the article in The Guardian, um, I was in complete shock. Emmanuel Anyamasigwe, whose festival was partnered with BAFTA, has now severed all ties with the organisation for honouring Clark with an award despite having received anonymous and third-hand allegations against him and is calling for the chair, Krish Nenju Majumdar, to resign. Krish cannot continue in his post because him being there, him remaining there, just sends completely the wrong signal because whichever way you look at it, BAFTA was just dealt with this horrendously. Um, he has done arguably some very good work around diversity. He has um, been instrumental in turning it around in it many ways. It cuts for nothing. It cuts for nothing. I feel completely let down. They also say that they received no first-hand accounts and had the victims gone on the record to them, as they did with The Guardian, they would have suspended Noel's award immediately. They wanted first-hand accounts, they say. But the problem I have with that is, not only are you not meriting the allegations when they first came to you directly through anonymous emails, you're now not meriting this letter that has come from people that you have worked with or dealt with previously at BAFTA. So what are they to make of your kind of reaction to them? For the first time since news about Clark and BAFTA broke, BAFTA has given an interview to clarify the timeline of events and defend its decision to proceed with the award. If we had had one fraction of, of the information that The Guardian had, we would never have given an award to, to Noel Clark. That is, that is obvious, but we didn't have that information. The first time we saw the actual allegations against him was when they were published by The Guardian newspaper. And as soon as we saw the allegations, we suspended the award. I mean, there, there will be a lot of people listening to this who will say you had heard allegations, even if they weren't first-hand. You were certainly aware that allegations were being made against him. No, we were aware that people had spoken out against Noel and had made assertions that he had not behaved correctly but they were very generalised and they were, in the main, totally anonymous. Uh, there was never... We, we were never in the position of having a first-hand testimony from anyone about what he had done or when he'd done it. We've been speaking to the head of the British Urban Film Festival who has called for the chair of Bash, BAFTA, uh, Chris Majunda, to stand down, to resign, saying that the buck starts and stops with him. Um, what's your response to that? Well... This whole uh, affair has been extremely difficult, as you can imagine, for everyone involved. And Krish has worked uh, all the way through um, it, it, together with the board. It has been a, um, a, a joint uh, decision-making process. Krish has not been doing anything on his own. So any criticism that can be levelled at BAFTA should be levelled at everybody. It is, it is really, uh, I think, not right to single people out. But, you know, everything that Chris did, he did with the full endorsement and knowledge of the board. And um, you, you stand by both Chris and Amanda Berry to stay in their positions? Absolutely, yeah. Whatever the ramifications for BAFTA itself, what is indisputable is that women were too frightened to come forward sooner, leaving huge questions for the industry as a whole. Lucy Cotter, Sky News.